You talked about this on Human Events Daily, how this could really affect the rule of law for our kids. And you talked about your kids, and we were speaking about that on the couch, that especially the way journalists have gone about this, they haven't done journalism, they've done defamation, and how this could really affect our future in the rule of law. Look, you, you know, if you look at the Soviet Union, if you look at East Germany, if you look at Poland under communism, right? This is exactly how it was done. If you look at communist China, this is exactly how it's done, where you are thrown down a media narrative, or I should say a regime narrative that goes out, that's pumped through all the state organs. You are then brought before a trial. You might get a chance to put up some kind of statement or something, but the idea of a positive defense, it's not there. Think about this fact. Facebook declared Kyle Rittenhouse within hours of the shooting to be a mass murderer. What did that do? That meant that you could only write posts about Kyle Rittenhouse that were negative. You were not allowed to support him. You were not allowed to share his legal defense link for his legal fund. So he, as a matter of course, as a U.S. citizen, is of course entitled to a legal defense, as all U.S. citizens are. Facebook unilaterally decided, along with the regime narrative, that he was not allowed to crowdfund his legal defense. Does that really seem like justice? This, these are the types of Disgusting. questions that we really need to start asking each other. Do we want to live in that kind of society, especially a society where Mark Zuckerberg is putting together the Zuckerverse, he's yeah. putting together this VR stuff, this world where they're gonna want us to live in, where he's in complete control and his systems and his algorithms are in complete control over what we can see, what we can hear, and ultimately what we're allowed to think and say. Well, it just goes to show you the influence of the media and social media alike with jury behavior. We obviously saw that in the Chauvin trial with people being targeted. Do you think this is the new normal for juries moving forward? And then final take here with about a minute left, Jack. Well, I do think so that we really need to get this under control, right? You have to see and, you know, uh, don't hold your breath, but I, in a, a serious society right now, you would see the FBI and the DOJ cracking down on anyone who attempts to intimidate a jury. The idea of jury, jury doxing or somebody standing outside at the bus station taking pictures or filming the jury, as we heard about in this case, from multiple sources now, both George Floyd's nephew and the judge have talked about this. You cannot allow that in a serious society, period. Anyone who's even suspected of it should be investigated.